This is Artist Unusual. Hello, I'm Randy Wall, and welcome to Artist Unusual, stories of art from the original source, interviews, and art jargon. Artist Unusual is about giving artists of all kinds a platform from which audience members can engage into their work. And in this episode we have... Featured Artist. Symbols are around us every day. Symbols convey information to us as we travel in everyday life. Centuries ago, the symbols of the time were called icons. Icons arranged in the appropriate form told a story that could transcend time and language. Christopher Ulrich is a painter of surreal iconography, motivated by the richness of ancient mythology. My name is Christopher, and this is my journey. Painting these stories is more than a casual hobby for Christopher. I love painting. This ain't, you know, A equals B equals C. This is like hyper-dimensional. It's extremely complex weaving, and it's sensual, and um, it's grotesque. One thing about painting is once you do it at, at this level and intensity, you can't stop. It's, it's not necessarily an addiction or an obsession. It's more of like a form of being. One of Christopher's goals in his art is to have a constructive conversation about his work. I think interacting with people is so valuable because, you know, whether they're supportive or negative or whether they ignore you or pay attention to you, Everyone's a teacher. That process of creation in his art comes to a completion when he can show and interact his work with other people. Their light reflecting off of what they see, right? Because this bounces off and goes into their eyes and then goes into their mind and then their mind sees it. They don't see what's here, neither do I, but they see what's here. So then they tell you what they think. And if you're lucky, you, you get to have a constructive conversation and an artistic experience. With a firm commitment to his work, Christopher found an opportunity to exhibit some very unusual art. When I was pitching this to galleries, they looked at me like I was like totally nuts. His perseverance pays off with a venue to call his own for a few months. And the exhibit displayed art with some very interesting history. I had this idea of the chakra. I painted the chakras. That's how I started. And then I did these geometric design, you know, and all of a sudden like I had this like reverse pentagram where this pelvis was and it just starts working and then I created this cosmic fisherman, you know, he had this kind of funnel head because my symbol is sort of a funnel and a star. And I'm like, oh man, like who, who are you? You know, but I didn't know yet. And through the evolution of influences from a surreal plane of thought, Christopher was given the name of this central character. And it was the demon eater, sort of a mythology that I'm not the only one who has experienced. So I think um, for me, Demon Eater is sort of this archetype. It's this kind of like the, the, it's a merciless entity that exercises, you know, demons. Basically, you are what you eat. So this thing eats demons. So you can imagine what sort of creature we're dealing with here. This central character of the Demon Eater was repainted and revised many times. But the initial figure of the Demon Eater, he was segmented. His top part of his body was separated from his bottom part was very significant. And where the, the, the pentagram had been, the, he had sort of this lime green sort of like uh, stomach acid, and he was digesting this octopus in the center, like this kind of this five tentacle daemon octopus. You know, like that's where I'm at. His body fused, closed, he took on sort of this great white shark kind of feeling, you know, that I, I painted the jaws closed and they opened again. He, he digested all kinds of eventually to reveal a vortex that sucked everything in. Christopher's vision was to create a place where the viewer could take a journey into his art. The idea was like I wanted you to when you when you walk into the Demon Eater show, like you literally walk into the sketchbook. The venue for this exhibit was prepared in just two months. The Demon Eater exhibit is an immersion of art from one mind that takes a viewer to another world. It has like my 15 sort of archetypal entities that sort of rule the shadow side of my house. The Leviathan, 
the Demon Eater. Mooder Spade. The Kali, the Blue Vampire. And you had the Martyr Struck. Great Masturbator, the Dragon, Master Cool, the Alligator Lady. The Light Bearer, the Alchemist, and then you had the Crusader. Then you go look all the way down the hallway and you see the Lord of Spikes. Okay, number 13, like boom, right there at the foot of the stairs. And so then I, I illustrated the stairs, and then when you get up to the top of the stairs, I illustrated on the floor the original five fingered octopus. Then we had the, the the golden calf, you know, kind of leaping down the stairs and then you had the exit. And that was the, the, the number 15. Christopher's art is an experience that tells a story that's not clearly defined, but is left to the observer as to the meaning of these surreal characters of mythological influence. I put my heart and my spirit, my soul, my sweat, my tears, I documented it, I did the road map. It was like, it was just a true moment that sort of culminated. In the Demon Eater exhibit, Christopher transports an observer to a mythological place and time. These images leave the viewer with an unusual experience.